welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on the topic surface area of common solids and our subtopic for today is the surface area of a cone. So in the previous lesson we looked at the surface area of a pyramid and we were able to see how we are able to calculate the surface area of a square based pyramid and a rectangular based pyramid. So for today, we look at the formula of calculating the cone, and then we do a few more examples. So the surface area of a cone, we look at the base area. You see base area in this case is the area of a circle, which is the r by r squared. And then the curved surface, the curved surface is by r l. So when you, when you calculate the total surface area, basically you add those two surfaces, their areas, and then you get your values. So let's do some example in cooperating uh, that formula. So calculate the surface area of a solid cone of base radius. So we have a radius of 7 and then we also have a height of 13 centimeters. So the first thing you write the formula which we said is r squared plus pi r l. So when you are not given the pi, you can use 22 over 7. So let's work this out. It's going to be 22 over 7 times radius is 7 times 7. And then plus 22 over 7 times radius, which is 7, times length, which is going to be 13. And remember, this is a slanting one. So 22 over 7. Uh, times 7 times 7 will give us 154 and then 22 over 7 you remember this 7 and 7 cancels so it's basically 22 times 13 which gives us 286 if we add these two areas together so 154 plus 286 will give us 440 so 440 centimeters squared. Let's do another example. So you have been given this diagram with a slanting height of 5 centimeters and the base radius is 4. So again, we write the formula which is pi r squared plus pi r l. And l, remember, is the slanting height. So it's going to be 22 over 7 times 4 times 4 plus 22 over 7 times 4 times 5. So this gives us, so 22 uh, times 4 times 4 gives us 352 divided by 7 gives us 50.29. And then the next one is 22 times 4 times 5, which gives us 440. Divided by 7 will give us 62.86. So if we add 50.29 plus 62.86, we get 113.15 centimeters square. Let's do one more example. Calculate the surface area of a solid cone of base radius 14 centimeters and the height 26. So once again we write the formula which is pi r squared plus pi r l. So this is going to be 22 over 7 times 14 times 14 then plus 22 over 7 times 14 times 26 like that so by 7 1 by 7 2 the same case by 7 1 by 7 3 so this is the same as 22 times 2 times 14 which gives us 616 plus 22 times 2 times 26, which gives us 1,144. So 
1,144 plus 616 gives us 1,760 and it is centimeters squared. And finally, the last question. So the formula is going to be pi r squared plus pi r l. So this is 22 over 7 times radius is 8 times 8 plus 22 over 7 times 8 times our L, which we are going to find out. So it's going to be 22 times 8 times 8, which is 1,408 divided by 7 gives us 201. 0.14. So you notice in the other situations you are given the value of L. But if you look at our cone, we do not have L, but we have been given the height and the base. So we can get the slanting height, which is going to be our hypotenuse. So this is 6 and 8, so we need to look for the value of X. So it means it's x squared is equals to 6 squared plus 8 squared, which is the same as x is equals to the square root of 6 squared plus 8 squared. This is the same as 36 plus 64. So 36 plus 64 gives us 100. So the square root of 100 is 10. So we, our L here is going to be 10, so it's 22 over 7 times 8 times 10. So let's do that. So 22 times 8 times 10 gives us 1760. We divide that by 7. It gives us 251.43. So we add the two areas together. So it's 201.14 plus 251.43. Which gives us 452.57 and it is centimeters squared. So that brings us to the end of the lesson. I hope you have been able to see uh, calculating surface area of a cone is one of the easiest one uh, because of the directness of the formula. Your work is to interpret the question according to what you have been given and then you work it out. See you in the next lesson. Get more revision questions in the app and also notes in the app. See you then.